YouTube. What's good, man? Your boy AD. I'm back at it again with another quick build video. This one for my locks out there, man. If y'all need one, if y'all looking for one, I think I may have found the one just for y'all, man. Something slight. It's going to play well on defense. That's going to be able to get you also a bucket, too, from them three point lines. So let's get into it, baby. Now, of course, as you see, A. Dion on Kick is the name. Make sure you go follow me on Kick, man. Kick.com slash A. Dion. Live stream every night as much as humanly possible. Playing 2K, Call of Duty. As, of course, as you see, we're playing a lot of 2K up until that new Call of Duty comes out. And we'll still be on 2K Heavy. We've been enjoying the hell out of it. Of course, we've got patches. we got patch notes. we got what's upcoming. All that good stuff. Fortunately, they... Mess with something that that adjusted the whole limitless range thing, bronze and silver. It's it's been pretty bad, but if you still know your jump shots, they still going in. Just gotta make sure to time your stuff right. Know where your hot spots are. Work on those lethal spots, and you'll be straight, man. So, as we say, let's get right into it, man. This is a shooting guard, six six, two thirty one on the weight, seven one wingspan. This one here, you how I'm gonna build this. May look a little weird, but I'm gonna explain some things to y'all once we get into it. So, of course, the finishing is what's where this build isn't gonna shine or anything like that. It does get a 75 driving dunk, so you get some basics. You're gonna get the basic stuff to be able to get some dunks in. You'll have a, a slightly small driving layer, but you'll have silver giant slayer. You're not gonna get into the paint a whole lot with this build. This is more of a spot up, so you'll be able to knock down on tray balls and play some solid defense, more of a three and D style of play. So. With that being said, we're going to go right into the shooting. You get a 70 midi, but where it shines at is the 85 three ball. So you have gold catch and shoot, gold corner specialist, silver green machine. You have gold claymore if you're going to be spotting up a lot, silver open looks. So you'll be able to shoot well. You get the bronze limitless. You still have silver blinders, silver dead eye. Again, three and D, sit in those corners, sit, sit at a close hash, be ready to shoot. As soon as that ball is to you, you can pull that thing. Get you a good jump shot with some well good speed you'll be good to go he does have a free throw so if you're playing a wreck or pro-am you'll be able to use this build and be viable if you get foul calls and stuff like that unfortunately we do have a 75 pass accuracy but of course we have no ball handlers so with that you're of course going to run into those issues of unpluggable and stuff like that unpluggable it will not work because it doesn't exist for this build so don't be trying to be out here ball handling this build. This is not what this is for. This is strictly for defense and spotting up, which where this shines at, it does have an 82 interior defense, which also plays in part with workhorse because you can either have 93 interior defense or 94 perimeter defense to make sure you're getting the Hall of Fame workhorse. You're getting a Hall of Fame workhorse with this build. So you're going to be out running and getting them loose balls over everybody else. 94 perimeter defense. The one thing about it is, of course, you don't get Hall of Fame clamps. So you have it. Had to have a 95 perimeter defense for this. I'm willing to sacrifice that because with everything else that I'm having here, Hall of Fame 94 feet, Hall of Fame ankle braces, Hall of Fame challenger. You do only get a gold fast feet, but nothing wrong with that. Gold fast feet works really, really well. Gold pick dodger. Like I said, Hall of Fame workhorse, and you're getting a Hall of Fame off-ball pass. So if you're having to play those corners when you're playing in a, in a zone or anything like that, You'll be able to do that very well. You'll be able to play those lanes because you have a 96 deal. Yes, you only get gold glove, but you get Hall of Fame Interceptor. We know how that works out. Hall of Fame Right Stick Ripper. Right Stick Ripper, I feel, works so much better than glove anyways because if you're timing everything properly, you'll be good every time you go for a steal. And gold glove, there's never anything wrong with that either because I know people that are getting steals left and right with just silver because not everybody has their unpluckable badges built up yet. So you'll be able to play well with that. Getting 75 blocks to get bronze chase down and get bronze pogo stick. 50 offensive rebound, 78 defensive rebound to ensure you're getting silver box out beast on top of that. So you'll be able to box out, get a body on somebody, make sure your, your team is getting those boards and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about that either. 88 speed. Get around the floor fast. 83 acceleration, which helps out with that gold fast feet. You're also getting silver spot finder to so be able to get up, open off the ball a little bit better and silver, silver slippery off ball. 84 strength that comes and plays in part with your clamps. 
silver bulldozer if you need to get into the paint and get those driving layup animations or driving duck animations. Like I said, a silver box out beast. You get silver brick walls if you need to set a screen, you can set a screen. Immovable enforcer. This might be the one thing you may be able to want to tweak around if you decide to do that. What you could do is you could attempt to drop the wingspan down a little bit more weight so you'll lose some acceleration. Maybe drop a speed by one and try to boost up the strength to about a 90. You can get gold immovable enforcer. So if you end up having to play anybody else, you want to get a little bit more bumpy and get a little bit more bumpy with that too. So you have ways to adjust how you want to play it based on the style of play that you want to do playing defense with this build. And then it also gets silver post lockdown in case you have to play anybody that's like a, a post fade type of guy that's playing guard. So I do have a build that I have tucked away that I'm going to show you guys soon that gets post fade phenom at Hall of Fame, stuff like that. Silver is okay for what you need to be able to do because not many guards are going to do it anyways, but it's more of a just in case as a precaution. 65 vertically, make sure you at least get bronze area wizard. 99 stamina is what further ensures that you're getting the 94 feet to go along with the 93 to 94 perimeter defense on top of that. And when you do that, you get Shades, Joe Dumars, Mikael Bridges, OG Nananobi, and you're going to get a 3 and D threat. Like I said, the build goes crazy when you're playing defense. You're going to be able to knock down shots. You'll be able to unlock some other jump shot animations you may not be able to get before because of the higher threshold on the three-point rating. So... Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, this is a build that you might find valuable for you. I'll be making some adjustments. think I may put out some more videos coming soon for some guards. Another lockdown build that I'm going to have for you guys sometime soon. I also have another power forward build for y'all too, man. So, be on the lookout. Make sure to go follow me again on kick.com. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see y'all later, man. Y'all be easy. Peace.